Okay, hi, we're here with the DAT group. We're gonna go over a problem tonight on carbohydrates. Let's get right down to it. Um, I want you to look at this molecule here and it's called amygdalin. You probably never heard of amygdalin, but I wrote down that this is a toxic carbohydrate. Um, this is sort of a sad story. Um, students your age probably wouldn't remember, but in the 1970s, there was a lot of medical doctors who used to con patients that had cancer and stuff like that, saying that if you ate apricot seeds and the kernels and cherries and pits, that inside would be this chemical called amygdalin, that this was some kind of cure for cancer. And um, many, many people were very gullible. Um, things like that bother me. I really hate dishonesty. That's why I'm so passionate when I see kids about time tests and I see kids spend hundreds of dollars on these time tests and get ripped off. Um, you gotta be very careful. They're nothing more than plagiarized work by dental students, much like in the 1970s when people were conned into things and giving false hope. So taking a time test and thinking that's gonna be any indication um, of your performance on the dad, that's a big scam. And most kids um, that I know have seen through that scam. So don't throw your money away on any of that stuff. You want any time test, the ADA has um, some for free, and um, I'll be giving you a whole bunch of material here in the Destroyer. If you really want to try anything else, Stanley Kaplan, they have some good stuff as well, and Khan Academy stuff is great. But back to our problem here on amygdalin. Um, what I did is I want to show you what makes it so toxic. The question is, why was this so bad? Um, first of all, I put two dots at this linkage here, which hopefully everybody in this group recognizes this is the acetyl linkage, acetyl linkage. There's two acetyl linkages here. And whenever I decide if something's an alpha or a beta, I look at position one from the first sugar residue and it's going up. So it's going up, which means it's the beta linkage. We'll be doing that in a little while. And if you number this carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's connected to the one, six. So we say this is a beta 1,6 linkage. So what I did is I wanna show you that what would happen if it hits the stomach. We all know the stomach has HCO. Mr. Mark, what's the approximate pH of the stomach? Two. Round two, 1.5, but two is the ballpark. So as you can see, we have a very acidic environment. What it's gonna do, we're gonna cut the first linkage. That's gonna be the easiest, so I'll do it in steps. We cut the first one and we get this molecule, this is glucose. And I put a little squiggly mark here, meaning it could be either the alpha or the beta anomer. And in addition to glucose, you now got this product right here. More acid, now cuts this, again, cuts it at the acetyl linkage, and again, we get the glucose. And we end up with this molecule when it got cut. Anytime you have a carbon with an OH and a cyanide on it, we call this a what? Cyanohydrin. This cyanohydrin is then cleaved and we get two products. We get, ben, we get, here's benzaldehyde and we get HCN. And HCN, um, hydrocyanic acid, is extremely toxic. And this can break up and give off cyanide ion and cyanide ion can also interfere with electron transport chain. So as you can see, um, this is toxic to cells of the body but it's not only toxic to cells of the body. Um, as far as a cancer cell, it does virtually nothing. And the sad part is I actually did a Google search and looked at some of the PhD papers and from the 1970s, and they almost all conferred that um, amygdalin, which was sold as a drug or a tablet called Latro, is virtually ineffective. That the PhD studies said that it does nothing, but yet um, people that had cancer were duped um, into going to Mexico, and then not even going to Mexico, many US doctors were actually treating patients with Latro, and unfortunately it ended up poorly. So as you can see, this gives you a good idea. So usually when we think of carbohydrates, we think of sweet things, like sugars and fruits and sucrose. But as you can see, today's topic was a toxic carbohydrate. This is bad news. All right, good luck. I will see you guys in study group. Bye-bye.